Hey everybody, today I'm back with another Substance Painter tutorial. And this one's in response to a comment we got on our Marvelous Designer tutorial asking about embroidered patches, which is a great question, but I actually don't make those in Marvelous Designer. I like to make them in Substance. And for this tutorial, we're not just going to use Substance Painter, we're also going to use Substance Sampler to create the patch textures. For this project, I'm going to add some patches to our military characters that we just uploaded recently. The SWAT character, the military character, and the sheriff character already have patches, but this black uniform is meant to be sort of just a generic tactical uniform, and it has no markings, but if you want to customize it to create your own private military force or something like that, here's how you can add your own patches. I've been playing a lot of Starfield, so I'm going to make a space agency patch for my character. First, you want to create your patch design in Photoshop or Illustrator. And we need two things. We need a black and white image, which is the outline of the patch. You can see a black background with a white shape of the patch itself. And then another file, which is the internal design of the embroidered patch with all the different colors, but with a transparent background. And really quick, if I just paste this inside of the overall shape, you can see that my design fits within that shape. So I'm going to save these both as a PNG. And now we need to jump over into Substance Sampler. To begin, I'm going to click over here in my layers and navigate to where you save those files. Let's open up the first one, which is just the outline of the patch. And I'm gonna say import and use as bitmap. Okay, so now we have a base material, which is just the thing that creates our roughness and normal map. And then we have an image. Let's click here to add a new layer and I'm gonna search for embroidery. And you can see it's attempting to create an embroidered patch for us. Over on the right side, we can see the 2D texture. And then on the left side, we can see the 3D result. In the 3D window, uh, it's actually tiling, so I'm going to click here, and I'll set my tiling back to 1, so it doesn't tile. And it also looks like it's really thick, so I'm going to go here to the displacement. I'll just turn this down to like 0.01. Okay, over here in the properties, we're still selecting the embroidery layer. I'm going to change the color count to just 1, it's just a single color. And I want to create the outline of the patch first. So where it says mode embroidery, I'm going to change this to just outline and we can adjust the outline threshold to adjust the border. We can also mess with the stitch density to change the look. And if you want to, you can play around with the thread size, the length and the width. I'm gonna leave it how it is for now and we can adjust it once we see the entire patch together in context. I'm gonna to go to stitch finish and scroll down to custom color and turn that on. And now we can pick a custom color. I'm gonna go with a blue. Okay, let's create the backing now or the, the main fill of the patch. So I'm going to add a new layer and search for embroidery. And this new embroidery layer is also referencing our original texture. So it's a circle. Okay, let's change the color count again to one. And this time I'm going to go down to fill stitching. And where it says fill stitching one, I'm going to change this from satin to twill. And that's going to change the background pattern. Now you can see that the fill is kind of interfering with the border. So here where it says fill thickness, I can turn this down and that's gonna make it thinner and kind of push it backwards so that the border edge sticks out farther. Now, if the scale of the backing stitching seems too big or too small, you can adjust the stitch density. And then let's go down to stitch finish, turn on custom color, and I can use the eyedropper to match that blue. Awesome, okay, let's do the internal details now. I'm gonna add a layer and search again for embroidery. But on this one, instead of referencing the image that's already here, I'm gonna click on image and grab my details image which has a transparent background. Also take note that this image has one, two, three colors. It's got black, blue, and red. So where it says color count, I'll change this to three. Now we have a whole bunch of different settings that we can mess around with to get the look we want. And depending on the artwork that you have, you may get very different results from the same settings that I'm using. So don't necessarily copy the numbers I'm using. But if you mess around with the outline threshold, you can adjust the directionality of the stitches. You can also increase or decrease the stitch density to get more stitches. And if the stitches themselves are too big or too small, you can adjust the length and the width. Now I'm getting some readability issues, so I'm gonna change the background color to white. So I'm gonna click on my second embroidery layer and go down to stitch finish. And I'll change my background to not pure white, but pretty close to white like that. And you know what, now that I think about it, we can match the border color to this color that's in the design. So let's click on the first embroidery layer, go down to stitch finish, and I can use the eyedropper to match this blue that's already in the design. And with that, we're ready to import this into Substance Painter and start applying it to our character. 
So I'm gonna click this button here on the right where it says export. And if you have Substance Painter open, you can click send to Substance Painter. I'll do that in a second, but if you don't have Substance Painter, or if you wanna export this to a different program like Blender or Unreal Engine, you can click on export as and click on material settings and change this to PNG, for example. And now it's gonna export all of these different textures, which you can use in any 3D program. But I'm gonna click on cancel. And because I have Substance Painter open, I'm just gonna click on send to Substance 3D Painter. And now I can tab over to Substance and my material is right here. It's called Untitled because I forgot to name it, but that's where it is. Again, I've got my black tactical uniform ready to go. You can add this to any character if you have your own character, but if you want to follow along and do it on the black tactical character, you're going to have to download it and then plug in all of the textures the same way I showed you guys how to do with this motorcycle video a while back. Anyway, once the character's all set up in Substance Painter, just add a new paint layer at the top, name it Patches, and then grab your paintbrush and either click on your material right here or scroll way down to the bottom in your paint properties and drag and drop your material right here into the material mode. And now I'm just gonna increase the hardness of the brush and click anywhere that I want a patch to be. So I'll put one on each sleeve. And at this point, we might need to make some adjustments. So first thing, this rough Velcro texture is influencing my patch. So I'm gonna change my channel to height right here in my layers palette and change the blending mode of my patches layer from linear dodge to normal. And there's probably too much contrast in the height. It's a little bit too crunchy looking. So I'm gonna add a levels, switch it to the height channel, and just bring this slider down to lower the contrast of my patch. Now, if your patch is pushing into your material or it's standing up too high, you can bring these sliders to the left to make it push in more, or you can bring it to the right to make it stand out more. But in general, I recommend keeping these two sliders close together to keep the height contrast down. And that's it. Pretty simple tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. This is how I make all of my embroidered patches for all of our characters that have them. Now, if you followed along and made your own custom patches for this black tactical uniform, be sure to tag us on Instagram with it or share it with us on the Discord. All right, later creators.